So many new CSS features are landing in browsers these days. Some of the big ones like has and container queries are probably rightfully getting a lot of the attention, but there are some really fun ones that are going a little bit under the radar. And one of those is the modal pseudo class. Hi there, my front end friends. Thank you so much for coming to join me once again. And if you're new here, my name is Kevin and here on my channel, I help you fall madly deeply in love with CSS. And sometimes it's the little things that just make our lives a bit easier that are some of the most useful things that we end up learning along the way. So we don't have to come up with other hacky solutions to be able to do different stuff. And I think the modal pseudo class is one of those examples. So let's dive right in and I have an example here. Uh, where I've created a modal and you can see that it opens up and it's a, I put modal dialog, maybe a dialog modal. Um, if we look at the HTML here, I am using the dialog element and this one is the example of a modal. And then I have a regular dialog element here. So there's two different types going on. I'm not going to deep dive the big thing between the two of them because I've done a in-depth video on the dialog element itself, uh, including how you can style the backdrop. So it actually like shades out the background and stuff really easily. But the big difference is when I have the modal version of it opened, I can't select or interact with the background at all. Whereas if I use the regular dialog element, I can actually still interact with the background. And this is just like a position absolute that's in front of other stuff. So it doesn't cause a layout shift. And for certain use cases, it's fine. But the modal itself, where it actually pops up over the screen and prevents you from interacting with the background, I think is a little bit more interesting. Um, and we'll actually, we'll start right away by coming up and say we take my dialog, just my dialog element, dialog, and I give it a background. And the colors should fix themselves there. But let's just give this a background of light blue. Blue. And if I do that, there we go, everything comes back to normal. And now if I open my modal, as you'd expect, the dialogue element has a light blue background. But if I open this one, it also does. Um, so, you know, it could come down to you have a class modal like I did here. <laughs> I have my dialogue of example modal and then I have my dialogue here of example dialogue. Uh, but we don't need to even bother with that. And you might have multiple different use cases because it's not only dialogue elements. There's also a full screen, which we'll see in a second. They can use this where you can use the modal like that. And it's a pseudo class and I'll give that a background. And we'll do light coral for this one. And if I open my modal now, you can see that one has the light coral. But if I open this one, it's still the light blue because it's only targeting something that's actually using a modal. Um, but we're just, as long as you use show modal versus show, that's the big difference with the JavaScript of whether it's a modal or not. Um, and so when you're using the show modal, then the modal pseudo class will work. And there we go, we can see it right there. And the other time that it also works is when you go full screen, where <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's not even capturing all of it. Uh, but basically when you full screen something, those black bars that would normally be there, that gets styled as well with the background color. And there's other styling you could technically do on the full screen um, if you wanted to, because let's just add some padding here for fun. Padding of three RAM. Now I wouldn't necessarily do that because it's gonna add it to here. Uh, but if I full screen that, um, I actually get padding on my full screen, which is kind of interesting. Something that you could play around with and see a little bit better than what I'm recording right here um, for the full screen. Of course, if you need to, you could have full screen modal and style it that way. And you could also have your dialogue modal if you need to be more specific with one or the other. And if you'd like to learn more about the dialogue element itself, including how you can style the backdrop so it actually shades things out, it's really easy to do. I have done a deeper dive on that right here. And with that, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my enablers of awesome, Jan, Johnny, Mr. Dave, Patrick, Simon, Steven, and Tim, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.